Hi friends. So I was a freshman in college, new to therapy, when someone decided that my general sense of impending doom was because I didn't know what to major in. So every week I had to go into this office of a guy with a name like Mark or Brian who had more degrees on his wall than hair on his head. I would sit in a chair and cry for a while and then Brian Mark would give me a test. It would be like a Myers-Briggs or an interest inventory or a career assessment that would tell me that I was really supposed to be a librarian or an HR manager or a naval officer. Because, because if I knew what my goal was, then I could figure out the plan to get there. If I could get the right quiz result that just snapped something in me into place, then I wouldn't feel so out of control. Around the same time, I read an essay in class about why Disney princesses are supposedly terrible role models for girls because they're always just sitting around and waiting for things. They're, someday my prince will come. They're, when will my life begin? They have that feeling that what you get in life depends on the movement of some invisible hand or a guy on a white horse to come bring it to you. That you're trapped in a tower, that you're paralyzed under a spell. The essay called that feeling an external locus of control. The idea that the forces running your life are outside you. On the other hand, an internal locus of control is the healthier sense that the things that happen in your life are because you made them happen. That you're the captain of your own ship as long as you know where you want to steer it. Ever since the election, I've been looking for a job and I can't quite tell where my sense of control lies anymore. Because I do a lot of waiting for someone to give me an interview, for someone to get back to me about something, for someone to make me an offer. And you can crush an interview or write the best cover letter or have the most impressive set of achievements on your resume and still not get the job. Or you can have an interview scheduled for three hours after you find out your grandfather dies and just totally vomit. Like, what else? could you do? Either way, it feels like you're always waiting for someone outside you to decide that you're good enough. Someday my prince will come. When will my life begin? So they say, don't be a Disney princess. Go out there and take that sense of control back into your own hands. But then you start to think, if I'm working this hard and still not getting anywhere, maybe I'm just not good enough. Maybe I'm just not good. They have Disney princesses that go out and rescue themselves these days, but what we don't have is Disney princesses who fail. Whether you work hard or you wait for it, there's no role model for no happy ending. There's no personality test that you take that says if you're this type of person, you should be a naval officer, and if you're this type of person, you lose. And right now, I think that's the one that I need. So tell me in comments, do you feel more like you have an external or an internal locus of control? And what made you feel that way? Do you ever wish that it was the other way around? If you like this video, you can subscribe, you can even click that little bell-shaped thing, I won't mind. You can also find me all over the internet in the links below, and I will see you next week. Bye!